Today I get to finally answer a question, a question that has been burning inside of me, a question that I asked myself in a video which I made last year. This is the Caesar Ultra Shine Pro. It is a book scanner. It is made specifically for books even though it can do other things as well like scanning ID copies and documents like your usual flatbed scanner but it is made to scan books, turn these physical pieces of art into digital art. Now the question I asked in that video was how long would it actually take to say turn a 300 page book into an ebook because end of the day there is manual work of turning it page by page and scanning it. Now I know it is definitely going to be much faster than using a flatbed scanner but how long would it take? That is the question today and I am going to tackle it. My weapon of choice today is as I mentioned earlier the Caesar Ultra Shine Pro. I reviewed this machine last year. There should be a link in the description box below or there should be one somewhere up in either of the corners card popping up you can click on that for today i'm just going to set this up i'm going to take my book i'm going to start scanning page by page and measure how long it takes from the first scan until the ebook is ready when it comes to the books i was uh, confused between two books this is one of them it's called mastermind by maria konikova how to think like sherlock holmes but it as a gift a long time ago i try to read it a lot of times i start i get in a couple of chapters and then i start thinking like sherlock holmes and i forget to read the book so come back to square one the cover is all messed up with markers and crayons but you should never judge a book by its cover the other book i have in mind is this this is called don't be sad it is actually a translation from an arabic book called la tehzan which also means don't be sad it is an excellent book if i'm being honest i haven't read any one of them completely but i have read gists of both of them and i hope to complete them one day now why am i telling you this i wanted to go with either one of these books this one preferred however even though they look the same thickness this one is 472 pages and this one is just 272 pages in my previous video i said how long would it take to scan a 300 page book this is closer to the 300 page even though I wanted to go with this one because this one has hard covers which makes it really easy to hold down the book and scan it page by page. This one has thin covers so it's not going to help a lot but it's not going to be significantly difficult either. So let's set up the scanner and get going. Alright guys, the setup is complete. I am ready to go. These finger cards, the book today is pretty much all black and white so I won't be needing these. However, I'll be scanning the book in color mode because I want to maintain that parchment slightly brown color of the pages. I just think it looks better in an uh, ebook. I also have a challenge for you guys. Pause the video right here, go into the comments below and type your guess as to how long it will take for me to scan and convert this book into an ebook, a PDF. The one whose guess is closest to the actual time achieved I'll pin it on the top of the comments. Let's get started. Alright, wow, okay, let me just get this camera to the correct angle. Alright guys, the scan is complete. It took 22 minutes and 30 seconds. I was actually timing it on two different phones, one for the other time-lapse camera. So it took 22 minutes and 30 seconds to scan 292 pages, which also includes the prelude, the index, the postlude, the covers, everything. Now it took me eight and a half minutes to scan the first 100 pages. And then it took me seven minutes and 20 seconds to scan the next 100 pages. That is more than a minute less. And I think I know why. 
when I started, I kind of, you know, was going by the textbook, looking at the screen, uh, waiting for the page to get scanned and then flipping and then scanning the next page. But midway, I kind of got the hang of it, you know, the rhythm kicked in and I was just doing it like muscle memory, flipping the page, waiting for one second and clicking the pedal. So it was all going like clockwork and just kept getting faster and faster. So 22 minutes and 30 seconds for 292 pages. Now this is just the scan time. I still have to convert it. I need to plug in my laptop uh, because the battery is quite low and it might affect the performance of the software. By the way, there was a little bit of distraction in between once I got up to check on the camera to make sure it was rolling. Another two or three times I had to just touch the screens of my phone to make sure they don't go dark. Otherwise you won't be able to see the stopwatch going on. So give or take 30 to 40 seconds was the total break which I took in between and, and let me tell you it is quite a workout. My triceps became quite sore when I was like five to six minutes in because you have to kind of hold it down and it takes a little bit of force to do that. Anyways enough talking let's go ahead with the conversion and see how much total time it takes. Alright so now we have all the pages scanned and all I have to do is just go back and then all the pages are here on the right. Now what I'm going to do is just remove this first page because it was basically the empty one and then also I'm going to remove one of the last pages because that is also an empty page. Can you see this one? Yeah, that's the one. I'm going to delete this, move it to the cycle bin. Now I'll select all, I'll go to this batch processing and I want to export it as a PDF. A normal PDF will do, no need for a searchable PDF. Okay, the way of output, combined output, PDF quality. I'm gonna go with 75% so it is average resolution and not too big. Go with confirm master mind PDF. I'm just gonna save it to documents. Save. Right as you can see the progression bar this is actually moving in real time and it's quite quick already 20 pages in now and 24, 25, 26. Anyways I'll do a quick time lapse and meet you at the end. Okay the book has completed converting into a PDF. Let's have a look at the PDF. All right, so the first page is botched. I think that's because the cover is also black and the background is also black, so I didn't really make it out. There goes the book, a couple of empty pages in the beginning. But once we come to the text, that is pretty decent quality. As you can see, the pages have been flattened. This scanner has curve flattening technology. This page, for example, page number 10, this was the one on the left side. So uh, it is the one with the curve, but you don't really notice the whole curve in here because it has been flattened to quite a decent degree. And this was on the right side in the beginning. So the uh, side was thicker. And this one, once again, page number 12, you can see the fingers have also been removed from the sides. You can't see it. You can see a little bit of smudges. Uh, if I had used the finger cords, it would have been better. Or if I had used the black and white scan method, you wouldn't see these smudges either and also i was actually flipping it quite fast as i mentioned when i came into rhythm i was just going with the flow and that's why i think you know my fingers were moving a lot uh, and not stable and that might have left those marks but anyways this is the whole book in front of you uh, by the way the conversion process it took two minutes and 36 seconds so roughly two and a half minutes combine that with 22 and a half minutes of the scanning time that is a total of 25 minutes all right guys another experiment done and dusted so it took a total of 24 minutes to turn this 292 page book into a readable pdf ebook i've been wanting to do this for a long time and finally i feel at peace did anyone of you get the timing right now talking about the time i think it is actually quite impressive if you were to do the same thing with a flatbed common office scanner i don't think it would even come close to the time that this achieved especially with having everything in one software where i could combine all of the pages into one pdf document to be exported i can you know send it to my ipad if you have a kindle you can export it there and read it or share it with someone by the way the first and the last page that the scanner botched actually that can be fixed just crop it uh, when we come to the batch processing and it takes care of that so there's no big deal end of the day this is a wonderful machine and it's really impressive what it can do and apparently this isn't even their fastest model and then on top of that having the ability to perform OCR on the whole document and have an editable word document for the whole book in a matter of minutes it just amazes me every time not just this scan but book scanners in general anyways enough with my Ryan thanks for tagging along for this video hope you enjoyed it if you did you know the drill hit the like button below share the video with your friends and family and while you're at it don't forget to subscribe to my booth for more gadget reviews DIYs and life hacks you can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram and other social media 
all the links are in the description box below i keep posting shorter versions of my reviews and other videos on facebook and instagram so don't forget to follow that i'll see you in the next video see ya